Today I'm throwing a swirly coffee pour over. I use 550 grams of clay for these um, and they are thrown sort of in two stages. Once the clay is centered, I split the clay in half, leaving behind what will be the base. Don't go all the way in, I want to go in a bit further later. Um, but almost like throwing off the hump, you want to leave a lump of clay on the top and you throw that separately. So open most of the way down. If you're making a pour over, you want to open a hole all the way through to the bottom because the idea of a pour over is to let the coffee flow through as fast as it wants to go and then you control the speed with the grind of coffee. So finer grind means a, a slower flow through and a longer brew time. If you're making a dripper it's specifically for use with uh, ground coffee where you can't control the grind. So as in if you're buying ground coffee from a store and it's flowing through too quickly you don't want a big hole all the way through, you want a smaller hole at the bottom that controls the speed of the drip which is why it's a dripper rather than a pour over um, and that distinction is quite important if I didn't know that when I started making these I based this on a specific pour over, the V60 but I didn't realise that actually if you can't control the grind of your coffee um, that design might not be ideal for you uh, so worth bearing that in mind basically throw it in two parts so now we're getting towards wanting to close that in a bit and then finish off pouring the walls up and out something near 45 degrees with these it's easier you almost do the pulling with one hand so thumb on the outside fingers on the inside and use your other finger as a guide Probably a different angle to show this but my right hand as opposed to doing half the pulling is just supporting the clay so that it's in control the whole time and I do that with this hand and my left hand does both parts of the pulling for as much as it can reach. I'll try and remember to get a video from a different angle to actually show that. Because I don't think I did a very good job of explaining it. Now, bring them all down slightly with a rib. And then get the clay nice and wet. Load the wheel down, and this is the all or nothing part. Just commit to going at a certain speed and hope you get it right. And there we go, a swirly pour over. Get all that water back out from the middle. Back up and bring some of the clay from the base out a bit just to give that make it bigger than standard cups and you're fine. And I use foot trimming tool to round it 
other side of that. And then one of the wooden undercut tools to bend the edge up, which makes the foot stronger, makes it easier to pick up, and means that on really big cups it nests down so it's more stable. But for most cups they'll sit on the flat bit in the middle, so that part isn't needed. You're just um, having the bend up stops it from warping. That's it.